Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to execute Java code inside Atom Editor. So, Atom, we need to two important software. The first is ZDK and your Atom Editor. Here, let's double click on ZDK. Let's click on Atom or set of file. So, it's a 64 bit operating system. Now, here, this is the ZDK. Now, here, after click next. So this is the location where Java is going to install the program file Java ZDK. If you want, then you can change also. Now here I'm not going to change. Click next. And here you can see Atom. Atom is being installed. It will launch once it is done. And here for ZDK, click next. And here you can see Atom icon. It's a created. Now here. If you want then here you can change the destination for Java. Not going to change. Click next. Add here installing Java 3, mil, 3 billion device from Java. Add here you can see Atom editor install successfully. Add here or ZDK it's an install. So now I'm going to or do some modification inside Atom editor. So first let's select the add here theme. So add your open theme picker and here you can create to UI theme so it's by default atom dot. So going to select add here right now here. So syntax theme going to select right. Now add here it's done. Now here to the next here. Let's go to file and here go to setting and here going to install some package. So if I write at your Java, now here by default to language Java, Java language support in Atom, it's a install. And if you write at your PHP, so here you can see language PHP, the software that I all that already installed when you install at your Atom editor. Now here after let's go to install and your search script. And here it's a searching the script and here you can see about the ZDK. So and here or uh, it's successfully installed. Now let's click on close. And here after here you can uh, find run code in atom. So by using a script and a script to package so we can we can execute any programming codes. So we need to install this one. So let's click add here install. So it's uh, installing right now. Now here after let's open command prompt. And here open command prompt. And here let's write at your path. Or here you can see Java minus version. So by using this command, so it's so uh, giving at here Java at here. Java 1.8 that I'm using. Now here after if I use add here path. So add here Java that I installed but path is not cited. So what we need to do add here if I one more thing if I try it add here Java. So add here it's now um, that means Java installed in the system. And here I'm going to set the path. So at your ZDK that install inside C and now here let's press select and here you can see Java and here ZDK 1.8. So we need to copy this location and here add it environment variable and here add it environment variable. And next, search at your path. And here, add it. And here, new and paste that. And here, OK, OK, OK. And here, cancel. Now, here, so it's still installing a script tag. So sometimes it's take time. It's all depends upon your name. So I'm going to pause the video. And here, you can see a script package that installed. 
Now you have to, when it turn on and you have close, now you have to close this one too. And you have to going to create one new folder. So right here, let's go to new. And here, go to folder. So right here, going to write Java C program. Okay. Java Pro. Now here after, let's go to file tag. And here, add project folder. And here, this that I just created on desktop. Here, need to select. And here, the folder that is common. Now, here of the file tab and your new file. So, when I create the file, here of the we need to save. And here, giving the file name, so it comes inside Java. And here, giving the file name james1.java. To execute Java, to write Java program inside, so extension must be there. Dot Java here. Save. So when that turn here after there, I already have one program for Java. Now yeah. here after, let's copy and paste. So yeah. add your class name and here this must be same. Now here after the next. Thing is we need to save that. Save and here because and here I install the script. Also the script pack is that installed. So here you can execute Java code very easily. So only you need to click on run script. So and here Java is not recognized internal or external command. So and here I did the mistake. Let's uh, do modification. Edit environment variable and here we need to copy this one still bin. So bin here after click on bin and here copy and here edit environment variable and here path and here add it. Remove this one and here name paste this again. Click close. Okay. Okay. Now we need to close and start again. Let's go to package tab and your script and your run script. So this time getting the right output and your i35 and your let's satisfy 35.78. So like this you can use any kind of code inside add here. Oh, atom in this kind of Java code inside atom editor. So let's use atom system dot out here of to print and you're going to write hello world. Now close by semicolon and you have to wait to save that. And here, after done, here, let's go to escape and here, run script. So, and here, hello world, it's a printing. So, this is the way I can uh, set the configure or set the path of Java using Atom Editor. So, I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So, now in this video, it's over. So, thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.